What's good, everyone? Aggie Coach here. All right, guys. So um, I'm just about done painting the team. I am actually in the process right now of finishing up the stripes. Uh, I'm adding the red uh, stripes now. So far, I've gotten five done. Uh, so I thought that I would just kind of share with you guys uh, before I get on to the white because that's the white is going to be the final stage before uh, before I start doing decals. So uh, right now, the only thing that I'm doing um, currently is um, adding the red stripes here. So I'll just show you guys. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Okay. You got to have a really steady hand to uh, to do this. And remember, you want to keep your you want to keep your paint wet. You don't want to do stripes with um with dry paint, as you can see. So, um, and what I mean by that is sometimes when you have your paint on your palette. If it's been on your palette for, I would say better than, better than five minutes for sure. Um, if if that if that ha if that is happening, then it's time for you to um, add a little water to your paint uh, and try to try to keep your paint as wet as possible because it's it's a lot easier to do lines uh, when your paint is diluted. And then like, as you can see how easy these, these lines are going on here. It's a lot easier to do lines and keep your lines straight uh, when, you're, when your paint isn't already starting to dry. So, like monitoring your paint while you're painting is is very important. So you got to make sure that you're make sure that you're doing that. Make sure that you're monitoring your paint. The other thing too um to keeping your figures to keeping your figures neat. And I thought that like as I'm trying to prepare this team, I thought that I would share with you guys uh how I do my painting. Um, whenever I make a mistake, you always can go back, and this is a thing, man. Don't, don't worry. You always can go back and do a cleanup. As a matter of fact, anytime I finish, whenever I finish, like whenever I finish this whole team, before I start doing my decals, I always go back and I look at my figures, and I go through each one. And I make sure that all of my lines are clean. And I do my final cleanup before I go into doing my decals. Because I want I want my figures um, to be neat. You also will notice that I have these guys arranged where I have them arranged in order of position. So these are the defensive tackles. These are the outside linebackers. These are the defensive ends. These are the middle linebackers here. These are the cornerbacks here. Um, and he's a nickelback, actually. And then the strong safety and the free safety. Right? So that's the other thing, too. Like, I, um, when I'm painting, I do everything in sections. So I keep it, I try to keep it really organized. Uh, that way, that way I know where I am. So like, for example, on this model right here, I don't know if you can see this, but right here, I got some flesh tone right here on his pants. Um, and I was, I was considering, as I was doing this, I was considering, you know what, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and do a cleanup. But then I remembered... Well, I still got to do the red stripe. So that red stripe is going to overlay on some of that. But then, as you can see, I still have a little edge right here. 
where the flesh tone is kind of showing through right there on the edge. And so this is what I mean by cleanup. Like when you see little stuff like, see this kind of stuff would drive me crazy because I don't like, I don't like um, messy, messy paint jobs. It, it, it aggravates me. So, <laughs> so when I do a, um, when I'm working on a figure and I find that I have like little stuff like that, that I know that I need to go, I know that I need to go back and clean up. What I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and go through everybody, get everybody done. And so what I've done is I've kind of, I've created a process. So I do, um, I do the helmets first. I do the helmets first. Then I do the jerseys. Uh, and then behind the jerseys, I do the pants. I do the pants. As you can see how he's turning out. I do the pants, then I do the stripes. Uh, so that's what I'm working on right now. I'm just working on getting these, um, getting these stripes done and really trying to really trying to take my time. Uh, and then once I get all of the stripes done, before I go into doing, before I go into doing decals, which is the last thing that I do, um, I do my clear coat after the decals. I don't do, I know some people do their clear coat. Um, some people do two layers of clear coat. Some people do it to seal in the colors. So like as soon as they finish, as soon as they finish painting, they go ahead and do their clear coat, right? To, to protect those colors. And um, in the decals, they stick really good. The decals stick really good when you have, uh, when you have the clear coat uh, already on your figures. So that's, you know, that's another cool thing about um that's another cool thing about the clear coat he's starting to look good um the clear coat does help your decals to stick but i got a i got a little secret that i like to use um and um the the problem that i found with doing two layers of clear coat one after uh, one after you finish your painting for the decals to stick and then and then one after you put the decals on to seal the decals in right that's what most people do so they so you end up doing two but what I found is that and this is just for me really what I found is that doing two uh, layers of clear coat, uh, starts this kind of distortion effect with the colors. Um, and so it's, it's like, it's just not to my liking. Um, um, because I'm really picky about how my colors look um, and, and how my colors uh, and how straight my lines are, especially. And I found that like sometimes, sometimes the clear coat um, more more than one layer of clear coat can really be strong um, on a figure. So like what you see here, you see how this red right here, right at the knee, how it's a little thick. So this is what I'm saying. When I do my cleanup, I'll go back with the gray and I'll edge up that red and really, really clean it up. Um, but like I was saying with the, with the, um, with the clear coat, um sometimes more than one layer of clear coat um can be too strong for me and it kind of starts it kind of creates this distortion where I wish I had not painted over the guy but I can show you um cuz I had a figure here uh that that I didn't paint it was painted by someone else uh I don't remember who it was, uh, but it was an older figure. But I could tell 
that it had been painted with clear coat more than once because there was kind of a a thick, shiny film on top of the model. And it was so thick that it uh, it was very difficult for me to um, get my paint to stick um, on that particular model anyway. And I would imagine that it probably did add a little weight to it too, because it was it was it was kind of creating this distortion effect on the color of the model, and it was like making it where it wasn't really sharp. It wasn't as sharp as I like for it to be. Uh, so that can happen. So I'm gonna show you guys. I got a little. I got a little secret weapon that I like to use when I do. When I do my decals. Right. When I do my decals. So I only have to do only have to do clear coat one time. Um, to seal in, to seal everything in, you know, all at once. And then I don't have to worry about see. Then I don't have to worry about uh my lines being too distorted. Cause I mean in addition to playing this game, I really enjoy looking at the figures too. Um, so that's a whole nother thing. Like I get a lot of enjoyment in like looking at a really beautiful team. Um, so I try to I try to take my time when I'm painting. Um, so anyway, uh, this right here is my little secret weapon, guys. Give this a shake real quick so y'all can see this. This right here is what you need. This is decal fix. Now, if you can't find Decal Fix, uh, it's by Vallejo as well. If you can't find Decal Fix, you can find this at Michael's. If you go to Michael's, you definitely can find it there. But if you don't have a Michael's in your location and you cannot find Decal Fix, another little trick that you can use is do a 50-50 mix of Elmer's glue and water. And you can make your own Decal Fix. Cause that's all it is. And I'm telling y'all, man, it made the decals look so smooth. Look at this. It made the decals look so smooth. So, you know what I mean? This is just one, one coat. One coat. That's it. It makes the decals look so smooth when you put them on. So I'll do a video on um, how I do my decals, too. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here because I don't want to go 14 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to stop it here. And um, hopefully, man, I'm going to get these guys done today so I can start shooting tomorrow.